Okay then gang, so we've seen how to create a single context to store some kind of data, in this case about a theme, and then use that data in different components which can consume this context, right? So we did that using this provider right here and passing in this value. But what if we want some different kind of data? For example, if we had some authentication data for the currently logged in user. Now, would we put it in the same context? Well, no, that's not a good idea because this is for the theme and it doesn't make sense to put some kind of authentication stuff inside this context. What we can do is just create multiple different contexts. So if we have some kind of data that is for one part of our application, we could create a context for that. If we have some other kind of data, which is going to be global for another part of the application, we could just create another context for that. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll create a new file called auth context.js and inside here again we're going to import react and also component so let me do that snippet and we also need to import create context because that's the function we need to create the context then down here we'll say export const and we'll call this auth context and set it equal to create context so we're just going to be following the same pattern as we did do for this thing over here, theme context. So down here now, let's do a class component, so CC, and then this is gonna be called auth context provider. Uh, we will have some state, and that state is just gonna hold maybe a simple Boolean called is authenticated. So I'm gonna keep this really simple because I don't need to demonstrate how to use authentication in this series, it's about using the context and this video is about using multiple contexts. So I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible just to show you how we can use two different contexts in our application. So anyway, let me set this to false to begin with. And I'd also like to create a function now so that we can toggle this in the future if we want to. So we'll call this toggle auth and set it equal to an arrow function. And inside the arrow function, we wanna say this.setState and the thing that we want to set is this property right here is authenticated. So let's grab that and we want to change it to the reverse of whatever it is now. So exclamation mark, then this dot state and then dot is authenticated. So if it's false, it's going to turn it to true and vice versa. So that's this pretty much done over here. The next thing we need to do is return some JSX. And again, this is going to be very similar to this thing over here where we have the provider. Then we have a value that we pass into that. That's the data or functions we want to share. And then we nest this.props.children, which are the components we want to provide this state or function to. So let's go over here and do something similar. This time we want the auth context.provider, like so. And in here we need a value property. And that is going to be equal to an object. We use spread syntax to get this.state. And we also want to pass down a property called toggle auth, which is going to be equal to this dot toggle auth. So this function right here. Then finally, we just need to nest this dot props dot children like so. So that is this context file pretty much done now. The next thing we need to do is take this and we need to nest it inside our app.js file so that it surrounds the components that we want to use this context in. So let's go ahead now to app.js to do this. And we need to wrap these components with that new auth context provider because these are the components that want to use that data or that function. So we could nest the auth context provider inside the theme context provider like this, or we could put it outside of it like this. It really doesn't matter in this case. They are both still wrapping these components. So I'm going to put it inside. So let me say auth context provider. That's going to auto import it for me up there. And now I need to take this closing tag and put it at the bottom over here and just scoot these in a little bit like that. Okay, so now we have both of these context providers surrounding or wrapping these components. So now these components should have access to both different contexts. So if I save this at the minute and go to the browser over here, then I'm going to open up the React tab. And by the way, this still works. So adding in this auth context provider inside theme context provider has not affected how this works. This still works exactly the same. 
Now, if we open this up, we can see the first context provider for the theme, and then we have the second context provider inside for the authentication. So if we zoom this up, we can see inside the value as well is authenticated, true or false. So now hopefully we can go ahead and start to consume that second context, the auth context inside these components as well. So the next step is to figure out how to consume multiple contexts in one component, because for example, inside the navbar over here, we might want to consume not only the theme context, but also the auth context. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, how to consume multiple contexts in one component in the next video.